Matabele ants, specialist termite hunters. A scout has laid down a clear chemical trail and this battalion of workers have picked it up and are following it. There may be only a few hundred of them, but they're going to severely test the defences of a termite colony. The mound has formidable guards, soldier termites. The ants have a special technique for dealing with these soldiers. They grab the termite's jaw and then sting it in the only vulnerable place on its head, in its mouth. The ants' front line breaks into the colony. Reinforcements for the termite soldiers arrive quickly. Already there are casualties on both sides. But the invaders overwhelm the defenders. It's not to the ants' advantage to kill an entire termite colony, any more than it would be sensible for farmers to exterminate their cattle. Better to let most survive so that they can be regularly raided. So, although there are millions of termites in the colony, the Matabele ants rarely go deep into the nest to press home their victory. The raid lasts less than 15 minutes. Nonetheless, the spoils are impressive. Termite bodies are now being piled in dumps outside the nest. Many of the casualties are still alive, but paralyzed by the ants' stings. Now the raiders have the considerable task of carrying their victims back to their nest. They will have to take all their booty with them. If any termite bodies are left behind, they will be collected by scavengers. The termite soldiers certainly fought hard. One of their dead still grips a Matabele soldier in its jaws, which it killed before it was itself slaughtered. Well, it's been a successful raid. Many of the bigger ones have got mouthfuls of termites. How they managed to hold all of them in one mouthful, I don't know. But obviously, They've got a little way to go now, and soon the young ones back in the nest will be getting good food. The Matabele ants will use their plunder to raise more workers. Ironically, the raid will have the same effect on the termites. The queen will detect the loss of her soldiers and workers and will increase her output of eggs to repopulate the colony. So there will be just as much food for the Matabeles the next time they raid.